for the past thousands of years. This Holy Scriptures is the center of the divine belief to the Christian world, and we have sought comfort and answers in the divine, in the form of God, but also houses tales of confusion amongst theologians and philosophers for centuries, especially at the origin of man. Now we begin to dig more deeper understanding about the creation of humans, the very first act of God as recorded in the Old Testament. I realize that there is something missing in passages of Genesis. Are you ready? Let's begin. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Did you know that the universe vibrates with a powerful force that shapes the very fabric of our existence? And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Pythagoras believed that everything in the universe had a numerical basis and that numbers represented the vibrational essence of all things. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. The Indian sages have long held that the universe is a product of cosmic sound known as the Om or Om, which is said to be the sound of creation itself. Everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound, and sound is the basis of form and shape. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. The law of vibration is a concept that has been studied extensively in the fields of quantum physics and neuroscience. The law of vibration cannot be proven in the same way that a scientific hypothesis can be tested and confirmed, but there is evidence to suggest that the law of vibration is a real and measurable phenomenon. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called he sees, and God saw that it was good. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We are told that this is how the universe began and how creation took shape. If we put that into the modern idiom and say, that into the great voids of space came a song and matter took shape. Everything vibrates the earth, the stars, the galaxies, Everything in our universe is made of matter that is in constant motion. Everything in this entire universe was made by Him, and through Him, all things were made, and without Him, nothing was made that has been made. And when everything is done, God created the first humans. The first humans that were hidden in plain sight that only a few people knew. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. If you read carefully, God created these humans male and female, and before God created them, all things are already set in place, and these humans are not made out of dust. If this story is true, and if this text was translated correctly from the original manuscript, it could be mean that these humans are made also by words and vibration. Did you also think that there are dark entities behind our history of the origin of man?
According to Anton Parks, in Sumerian tablets, when the Anunnaki came down from above, there are already humans on Earth. Thus, the heavens and the Earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. And so, the God of light rested on the seventh day and sanctified it. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. If you look at this passage, something very strange happened after the God of light rested on his works. Where did the trees, the plants, the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and every living creature on the earth have gone? And so, was there a catastrophic events happened in this timeline? But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. If these passages are the same creation in chapter one of Genesis, why there is a different timeline and events, was this creation of Adam the one recorded in Sumerian tablets that Enki made a man by human genetics, or was these gods of the garden of Eden the one mentioned in Isaiah 14 that he will ascend above the heights of the clouds and he will make himself like the most high, and the god of light told Noah. No. What did he say? He's going to destroy the world. The end of all living creatures has come before me, because through them the earth is full of violence. Now behold, I will destroy both them and the earth. Genesis chapter 6 verse 13. So, what do you think? 